Hello, today I show you how to use text sketch Photoshop action and here are some of results that you can make with this action. Okay, and firstly some recommendation for optimal use of action. Use a good quality pictures. I recommend using a photo with a resolution of at least between 2000 and 4000 pixels on one axis for best effect. So if you use photo with too small resolution, just open the photo, then go to the image, image size and change width to height value. Okay, and before your section you need to do the steps. First step, make sure that you're using the English version of Photoshop. And if you use version with another language, watch the video how to change language. The link under this video. Second step, go to image, mod, and check the RGB color and 8 bits channel. And last step, just for CS5 and highest versions, click on menu icon at the right. Select panel options and check the add copy to copy layers of groups. Okay, that's all. Now how to use action. First, open your image and one more important thing, your photo need to have the background view. So if your photo have this view, you just need to select the photo, then go to the layer, new, and select background from layer. Now it's okay. Okay, the next step, open brush file, for that go to the edit, Press it, press it manager. In press it type, select brushes, click load. Then go to the load folder and make double click on text sketch brushes file. Okay, click done. Next step, open patterns file. For that, go to the edit, press it, press it manager. But now in press it type, select patterns, click load. Then go to the load folder again and make double click on text sketch patterns file. Okay, click done. And next step, open action file. For that go to the window, actions, click on menu icon at the right, select load actions, go to the load folder last time and make double click on text sketch Photoshop action file. Okay, next step, Create a new layer, name it area, and please don't use the caps lock. Now I need to paint on this layer the area that you need to focus. Uh, for that you can use brush tool, you can use quick selection tool or magic vent tool. And also you can use uh, some of lesser tools. Uh, please pay attention that you can use any colors. Okay, for this image I'm gonna use a magic vent tool. And polygonal lesser tool. Okay, it's already. 
Next step, go to the Actions panel. If you close it, the Actions panel, go to the window, Actions. Now find Action uh, on the Action list. Open the Photo with section, uh, select the Action and open the Action. Now I need to click Play, but before you click Play, please make sure that the Opacity and Flow of Brush tool is 100% and that the normal mode uh, of brush tool is selected. Okay, now click play. Wait a few minutes that Photoshop make all actions and speed of action work depends on the power of your computer. I'm going to scroll at this step. Okay, when action finishes work, you can edit the final composition and now I show you how to make this. In final composition we have four folders. It's background elements, your object elements, 10 color effects, and color and contour settings of all image. Okay, let's start from background elements. Uh, in this folder you can change the background color. Also you can change the color of object shape. Uh, useful if you want to show original background uh, for that just uh, make invisible background color layer and make visible object shape color the next layer very useful if you want to show your original photo uh, maybe you want to show right side of this object just make visible this layer select layer mask select brush tool black color and just paint where you want to erase it's very easy uh, next uh, two less it's uh, less with paper texture you can change the opacity of this less Also, if you want to uh, change the size of this paper texture, uh, just make double click on pattern overlay and just move the scale slider. You can change the size of this paper and you can move this texture. Same with uh, paper texture too. Next layer it's hatching on the ground. You can change the opacity of this layer and you can add the color to this hatching. If you want to erase some space of this uh, hatching, just select the layer mask, select brush tool and black color and just paint where you want to erase. To make visible, just paint with white color. Okay, the next layer it's small dots on the background. You can change the opacity of this layer. And also you can change the color. Okay, the next layer it's a soft shadow. You can also erase if you want. And the last folder in this background elements folder, it's color and contrast settings of all background folder. Uh, in this folder, you can add the color tone to background. You can add the gradient to background. Of course, you can change the colors of this gradient. For that, just make double click on layer icon, select the gradient 
and make double click on the color what you want to change and just select the color what you need you can change the angle of gradient and you can scale the gradient and also you can change the brightness and contrast of the background next folder it's your object elements this folder contains a shadow from object to options folder uh, your object outlines perspective and colored lines thin duck hatching thick duck hatching other hatching layers object shadows and uh, some of other folders okay let's start from uh, shadow from object this folder contains two uh, options of the shadow this is the first shadow you can move the shadow also if you want uh, you can paint your personal shadow just select the layer select the brush tool and paint where you want to add more and the second shadow you can transform rotate this layers to transform uh, go to the edit free transform and very useful adjustment go to the edit transform skew it's very easy to change the size of this shadow okay the next folder it's object outlines this folder contains many object outlines layers you can erase uh, any of these layers using layer mask you can change the color of object outlines also you can add your personal color just select the layer select the brush tool select the color what you want to add and just paint you can use any colors Also, you can change the brightness and contrast of this uh, object outlines. Uh, next folder perspective and code lines. You can change the uh, color of three perspective and code lines. Very easy. Next folder it's thin duck hatching. This folder contains a uh, thin duck hatching class. You can also can change uh, any colors of this layers. And you can also change the color tone of all 
Tin Duck Hutchin. You can add your personal color and you can change the brightness and contrast of this Hutchin. Next folder it's Thick Duck Hutchin. This folder contains many layers with this Hutchin. And you can change the color of this Hutchin. You can add your personal color and you can change the brightness and contrast of this layers. Next folder it's other Hutchin layers. Next folder it's object shadows. You can change the color of these shadows. And also you can change the brightness and contrast of these shadows. Next folder contains a layer it's a very useful layer if you want to add your original color to your object. You can change the opacity of this color. Also, you can add the personal color to this object. Just select the layer, select brush tool. Uh, any color and paint where you want to add the color. And the last layer in this folder it's shadow light frame. You can change the color of this frame and you can change the opacity of this frame. And the last folder in your object elements folder it's color and contour settings of your object. In this folder you can add the gradient to your object. You can change the brightness and contrast of your object. And you can add the color tone to your object. Okay, the next folder contains 10 color effects. And the last folder is color and color settings of all image. In this folder you can add the gradient to all image. You can change the hue saturation of all image. Let's make visible original color layer. Also you can invert all image. You can make black and white composition. You can add the photo filter to all image. You can add the color tone to all image. And also you can change the brightness and contrast of all image. So here is the result. Now we need just save. Thanks for watching and good luck.